It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New Orleans Saints and the Philadelphia Eagles. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. We're just a stone's throw from the Delaware River. We've got some water to contend with ourselves. A steady rain falling at Lincoln Financial Field. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the New Orleans Saints and the Philadelphia Eagles. Welcome again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and yes, the rain is falling now, and it is supposed to continue to fall throughout this game. So how do you think that will impact this contest? Well, first and foremost, both quarterbacks are going to make sure the officials have those dry footballs coming in each and every play and standing over them sometimes with a towel before the center gets up there to snap it. Second thing is the focus of all the guys who handle the football. Do they wear gloves? Do they take them off? Will they carry the ball high and tight to make sure they have good ball security? That's paramount in a game like this. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. This one fielded at the five. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They're led out by a three-time Pro Bowler, owner of over 35,000 passing yards in 11 seasons. The veteran Andy Dalton. I love his football IQ. I love his ability to have people rally around him. And as he likes to remind me all the time when I get ready to call one of his games, I can run it a little bit too. A nice presence to have on your team. Dalton going to throw right away. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. A first carry now. This is Alvin Kamara. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Nine yards, not quite enough. And they'll be left now with third and one. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play. First level being the defensive front. Last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. And oftentimes, we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Who moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? Well, that's a tough, costly penalty because now it makes it third and six after the false start. And Dalton to throw. There's Chris Olave. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup.
Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Now flags will come in. And I think this is against the Saints up front. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Dalton here from the gun. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Throwing, Dalton. He'll find its tight end. It's Adam Troutman. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players who somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. So here come the Eagles for their initial possession of the game. Bringing them out now in his fourth season after, of course, a memorable 2019 debut. It's Gardner Minshew. And how about this young man? Took the NFL world by storm as a six-round rookie, signature mullet, mustache, but 21 touchdowns for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Great personality, and everyone gravitates towards this guy. Teammates love to win with a quarterback who leads them like that, and fans love to root for a guy who seems just like them. They start on the ground here at Sanders. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Minshew sets to throw. To the sideline, wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Minshew. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. It's a gain of six, but not enough, as he'll be forced to punt on their first drive of the game. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10.
from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. Dalton sets up play action. He completes it to Alave. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Kamara up the middle. A little juke. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. To throw here, Dalton. Escaping the pressure right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Well, it looked like a quick hitter, a three-step drop. But when it's not there, what do you do? He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle, and he does so and picks up positive yardage. Despite only needing one, Dalton to throw. He is going to find Hill here. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. Oh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hook up and set up a first and goal. First and goal from just inside the five. Dalton buying time to his left and he'll just chuck this one up into row G it's incomplete this is where good coaching and execution come into play because down this close you absolutely don't want to turn it over good job keeping that in mind as he escaped bought time and decided throwing it away was his best option and just one man in the backfield here that's Kamara second and goal So Dalton now. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. third and goal now back at the 11. Now Dalton. And he'll just get rid of it. Three defense there on third and goal. They took away everything. Forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. So on fourth down, on comes Saints kicker Will Lutz. From the left hash, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Lutz is good. And the Saints are going to take a 3-0 lead. So after drive number three here, we have a score, and it's three points after the field goal. I would say the feeling out process for both these teams, 
I'd say it's over, partner. Everyone understands what's going on now. You've kind of probed a little bit. Now you want to start throwing the big shots. First three points up on the board could be significant. Following the made field goal, Lutz to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So back onto the field here come the Eagles for their second drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. The first play of the drive there is incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Out of the gun is Minshew. And this is caught by Watkins. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short gain. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try to throw for it with Minshew. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Marcus Davenport with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. But found his way into the backfield, and he simply would not be denied. Well, they say that life's all about opportunities, and that holds true when you're playing defense as well. How about him seeing that chance, making the most of it, did a great job of wrapping him up and bringing him down. Here's Brett Kern now to punt this one away. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and they will take over first and 10. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Play fake. Here's Dalton. They'll get this out to Kamara. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss. And they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Dalton. 
First and ten. He'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Second and eight. Dalton off play action. That one complete down the field to Smith. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A gain there of 30 big ones. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to the ground. It's Kamara. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Again, it's Kamara, and not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for the loss. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Here's Dalton. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range, no sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. Will Lutz now to try the New Orleans field goal from 28 yards out. The kick by Lutz is good, and that will make it 6 to nothing. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So a couple of field goals now. 6-0 our score as the kicks away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and ten. Minshew's throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 6-0 our score after one. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Now Minshew. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. That'll give him eight that time, and that'll bring up a second down and just a couple. One of the selling points at the end route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play.
It's a second down run with Sanders. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. I haven't met a defensive coordinator yet that thinks second and two is a fun situation to try and defend. Playbook is wide open for an offense partner. Nice job. Hold him to one after that eight-yard pickup on first down. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. Uh-oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Yes, it's the first half, but we'll see if that stuff there on third and one comes back to haunt him. I hope you don't mind, but it's not going to stop me from putting a check mark next to this play. Let's look back as this game progresses and see if this is one of the key plays in the game, even though it occurred early. Here's Brett Kern now as he's on to punt for Philadelphia. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. Now the Saints coming back out ready to go for this next drive. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked to his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe somebody to press it a little bit. This might be the case. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. From the 41, Dalton. It's caught. Smith able to slither by on the move past the 40. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. That will go for 20 for the catch and run. This was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. Play action now, Dalton. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. And a lot of being a defender is being able to learn what you can and can't get away with when in man coverage. In this case, he got away with it. It helped pop that ball free. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Dalton now to pass. Over the middle to Smith. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Third field goal of the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You gotta be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. 
Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky. That play only picked up five yards. Second and five now. Dalton. Over the middle complete. It's Smith. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now a handoff. Here's Kamara. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Not a big run, not an explosive run, but they've held the ball for plenty of plays on this drive. They're just trying to impose their will on the defense right now. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's Dalton. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. Adam Troutman, the intended receiver, and it's third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. That is caught. Traquan Smith, touchdown Saints. A nine-yard touchdown there as his guys are able to extend their lead. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it works very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And the lead now stands at 13. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Taking it about the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic, meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. A little screen pass, backdoored them, and that time worked well for a solid gain. To throw again on second down, Minshew. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the track route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it.
Minshew, first and ten. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. They haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. It'll be Minshew again. He's got Smith here. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Minshew sets to throw. Well, that's complete to Sanders. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. But well, looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackled him for a loss. Again, Minshew looking to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 36. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 36. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. Multiple players getting home there, and it's a loss of two on the sack. Well, that's a big defensive stop there, and it takes away a lot of the momentum from the offense coming off that big completion to prior snap. Give big credit to the defense for bouncing back. A small bit of adversity here on what's been a strong drive as they come up second and 12. Another try after the first down sack. Minshew, he'll find Gainwell out of the backfield. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Here's Minshew. On the sideline, did he keep his feet in bounds? They say yes. Great job, both feet in, first down. 23 yards on the play. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. They 
rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Back to throw here. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. The offense on third down, they've only converted once in four tries. This is third down and 12. He'll look to throw. And Pascal's got it. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw. And they're set up now for the first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Sanders, and he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Once again with Sanders, and this time he is in. Yes. Miles Sanders taking it in from two yards out, and the Eagles have got it back to within a score. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And that'll make it 13-7. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The New Orleans offense set to take over. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. On first and ten, here's Andy Dalton. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. From the 30 on second down, Dalton, the left side complete to Troutman. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down.
A first down throw coming for Dalton. And that is incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open book beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Let's go, let's do this. Let's go, so after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. This will be Dalton again. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A nice pickup of 17 yards. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Now Dalton with a first and ten. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Dalton again. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing Dalton. Alvin Kamara reeling it in on back-to-back -back plays. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Dalton, and that throw behind his man. He missed him, incomplete. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Now flags will come in, and I think this is against the Saints up front. And that flag accepted. Things made a little more difficult after the false start as they try again on second and goal. Now Dalton. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. Oh. 
So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. This one from 35 yards away. The kick by Lutz is good. And now it's a two-score game at 9, 16-7. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, he's still been able to come away with points due to his leg. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. Fields it right around the goal line. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Saints out on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. First things first, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Saints. And it's been the passing game that's been the story. They have feasted on this secondary to the tune of 200 plus yards already through two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they weren't quite as successful throwing the ball as their counterparts were, but they still were able to move the ball reasonably well in that first half. All right, coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. And the Eagles ready to go on offense to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. and They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. And he's up in it after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. From the 25, here's second and six. Now Minshew. Now quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll drop the throw. And this is caught by Watkins. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant.
On first and ten, it's Sanders. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. From the gun, Minshew to throw. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. And let's see who's faster. <laughs> So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Now back to throw. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. And now whistles here and a flag down. Looked like someone got going a little early. Maybe anticipating a blitz and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up and they jumped. The false start hurts them there a bit. Backs them up to second and nine. They'll set up a throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The sack coming from defensive end Cameron Jordan. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. Here's Brett Kern now as he's on to punt for Philadelphia. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. Well, this is Smith with a grab. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. Partner, they're locked in man coverage out left, and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground.
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A give. This is Kamara. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Five yards remain on second down. Andy Dalton. And his throw is incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Dalton. That's complete to Troutman right side. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And it'll be fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? We figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. Here comes the Saints punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Throwing on first down is Minshew. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. I have to tell you, Brandon, I feel like a coach right now because I'm wondering why the angle route continues to be so effective when as an inside linebacker, you're always taught don't let someone cross your face. If they want to go outside, it's okay. But they make that outside fake, cut back inside, off into great success. A give running left. It's Sanders. And some space here. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That good for 22 at a first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Minshew sets to throw. And that, oh, nearly picked off. Well, it would have been a great time for their first interception of the game. Instead, it's second down. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. To throw once more on second and 10. Minshew, that's caught by the big tight. And now look at this, big gain, but a fumble. A call and luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground. Whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Over the middle to Smith. 
And they'll get this down to the 10. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here's Minshew. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. If you're running out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Second down and goal. Minshew. Touchdown! A.J. Brown from 40 yards out. And the Eagles have cut it back within a score. And there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Elliott now to add the extra point. And it's good. It cuts it to two. 16-14 our score. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Dalton off play action. Smith brings it in, going across the middle. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. A first down throw coming for Dalton. Alave holds it in. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. From just shy of midfield, Dalton. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Big Adama Kinsu, one of the league's best for a long time, getting a sack there. 
I like how they started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Passing. It's Dalton. That's caught by Marquez Callaway. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Here comes the Saints punter now as he's on to kick it away. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. And a nice job here on special teams. This will be down inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> he's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. Now Minshew on first and ten. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. That was a nice catch, but unable to stay in bounds. And remember, it wasn't a wide receiver who works on that all the time. <laughs> I was going to say, he, he likes to get the ball handed to him. Now, don't get me wrong, he's part of the passing game as well, but maybe a little out of his comfort zone there. Yeah, he might want to have a few words to say to us about that later but I am still going with you on that one. Wide receivers work out a little bit more. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that'll bring up fourth down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Here's Brett Kern now, standing right on his own five-yard line. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Good coverage there, an even 50-yard punt. Leads to a return of five. And out will come the offense as they take over. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. And Dalton to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Second down, Camaro, and he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. 
Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Play action now, Dalton. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Adam Troutman, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Third quarter of a two-point game, a good one so far. Here's second and ten. Throwing, Dalton. They'll get this out to Camara. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's been a good one so far. Just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive come through with another one here and have them staring at a third and long and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense here now is second and ten again from the 41 Dalton here from the gun had his hands on it but dropped it the rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake third down and now offensively it's third and ten and I'm just thinking to myself Actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller is thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. And this defense definitely has hit there on third down, and he's pretty fortunate. They didn't call for grounding on this one. That was a good 10 feet over everyone's head. So a big one coming now for Will Lutz. This to at least make it a five-point cushion. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And that will keep this a two-point game. Had a chance to give themselves there some important wiggle room, but... What a ride. Yeah, let's do the simple math here. And you know, for me, it has to be simple. Instead of this thing kind of giving them that wiggle room you talked about, now we're talking about possibly losing a ball game because they left the door open. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Well, they didn't fall behind any further thanks to that missed field goal, but still staring at this fourth quarter deficit. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. Minshew's throw complete there to Smith. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Minshew, first and ten. And this is caught by Watkins. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. A 
Up the middle they go with Sanders. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Now Minshew. Complete. Smith has it. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Looking to throw again on second down. Minshew. That's swung out wide to Sanders. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll look to throw. Over the middle, it's complete. Touchdown, Eagles! Close Watkins, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Eagles have taken a fourth quarter lead. Partner, remember that old film of Peyton Manning going through the route tree with his great receivers in Indianapolis? I think we're seeing the results of the same type of work here today. These guys know each other so well, they don't even have to call the play. They can just look each other and know the route that's going to be run, and usually the connection is perfect. Elliott good with a PAT, and the lead is up to five. That time, a six-play drive. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. For the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Out is the Saints offense now as they get ready to take over here. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Andy Dalton. Got his man complete over the middle. Brad Smith. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. Flags will come in. 
And I think this is against the Saints up front. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. He'll get this one underneath to Kamara. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it'd be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. From the 41, Dalton. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. The Saints on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This time they face a third and two. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Nicobe Dean. And they're going to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. This defense, they just continue to feast. Five sacks now as a unit. It's been quite an afternoon getting to the quarterback. And we're seeing it come from a variety of places as well. Sometimes just the guys up front getting to them. Other times you add extra guys rushing the quarterback, twists and stunts. It's been a variety, and they've had no way of blocking them. Here comes the Saints punter now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Throwing on first down is Minshew. That's caught. It's Kenneth Gainwell. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. These guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. Minshew sets to throw. Flushed out and time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football and he's taken down. Cameron Jordan able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Well, it's been a little bit of feast or famine because he's thrown for decent yardage, and obviously they've got the lead, Charles, but now he's been sacked four times. And what I'm focusing on is his toughness in the pocket because you mentioned the feast or famine part. He's played well in between being dumped on his back, but every time he's had a chance to throw the football, he's been impressive. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. A tough running, but not a ton to show for it. They stop him shy of the 25. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. Ebb 
every penalty so critical at this stage of the game as now they've got it third and long. Now back to throw. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Taking it about the 36. We'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. To throw here, Dalton. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. Throwing again on second down. Dalton toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Dalton now to pass. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Play fake. Here's Dalton. Back to Kamara for another catch. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. So Dalton now. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 15-yard line. A gain of 22. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Dalton operating in the red zone now. Open man is the tight end Troutman. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively, but they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Kamara. Give him three on the game there, second and goal. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own.
And just one man in the backfield here. That's Kamara, second and goal. They'll give it to him again. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. A one-yard touchdown run from Alvin Kamara. And the Saints have retaken the lead. Well, Brandon, he just followed his nose, and his nose took him to the end zone. But how about the big guys up front giving him at least a stalemate in order to find that space? Yeah, the O-line won the battle in the trenches there, didn't they? All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Here's Dalton to throw for it, and he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth-quarter lead. So that effort gives them a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about, not getting beat at this stage. At least give your team a fighting chance. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and ten. Here's Minshew. Toward the sideline, and that is a nice catch as he's able to tiptoe his way out of bounds. They should have got more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. To throw again on second down, Minshew. His throw incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. The Eagles on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This is third and seven. Toward the sideline. He will have the first down. Good catch. He was able to keep the feet inbounds. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Working the sideline there. Good route. Good catch. First down. And he gets out of bounds. Now you have to like the play call because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. So from the 36 now, first and 10. It'll be Minshew again. Throw's going to be incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Looking to throw it, Minshew. The Sanders has got it complete. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine.
Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Back to throw again. And that almost intercepted. Oh, they would have loved to have their first pick of the game right there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Going for it with Sanders. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. A new lease on life after the fourth down conversion. Here's first and ten. Now Minshew. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Minshew. It's caught. Smith. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 42. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Minshew's throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. I'm starting to wonder here, are they trying to prevent winning? Because right now, they're laying back and they're picking them apart, moving the ball downfield. I think they got to start bringing a little pressure towards the quarterback. First down now, but that clock rolling. Minshew. Sanders has it over the middle. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. And they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Very much in range for a tying field goal as they hurry to the line. Back to throw. And once again, this is Sanders. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. He'll look to throw. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. What an outstanding drive right there to take the lead, and also, Charles, didn't leave their opposition with a whole lot of time on the clock. Yeah, I like the way that you're viewing this because they did a tremendous job to put themselves in a position to win, but they can't celebrate just yet. They've got to clamp down on any big plays and force them to use up those timeouts without making any headway. Elliott on for the extra point. And it would appear they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it's capped off by the late touchdown that puts him out in front here in the final minute of the contest.
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. That would have been a tough catch, but in this two-minute drill, those are the ones you really hope your guys come up with. Yeah, you don't want your guy to be able to take the out because it was a tough catch. You needed him to come up with that one because if he does, it alters the perspective of this two-minute drill, doesn't it? Here's Dalton. That is knocked away and incomplete, but a penalty flag. In the backfield, this might be a roughing call. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall.